We welcome you to the family, people. Thanks for tuning in. We got a question from someone that asks, um, how do you handle not getting the attention that you desire when you're producing the artwork? She says that she submits pages onto uh, these sites and they get little to no likes. And she wants to wonder how it's possible to, you know, handle that kind of situation. And so we're going to dive into that. And so I remember as a child, the content I'd produce, rather it's drawing or anything, uh, anything else that's creative, was produced for my own sake because I enjoyed doing it. And so what you have to think to yourself is, would you still be doing it if no one else in this world existed? Let's say that you're the only human being in on Earth, you know, and there's pretty much no one else in this world for you to interact with. You know, and so would you still be diving into your passion? Would you still have fun in your creative mind and whatnot? And so motivation from external sources or outside factors are good. It's just you don't want to get too attached to the external source. Remind yourself why you're doing what you're doing. And if, you know, if no one existed in the world, would you still be doing this? And so external sources can be motivating the amount of likes and the comments that people give you can motivate you to, you know, continue to produce. However, you don't want to get too attached to those comments. You always want to remind yourself, you know, would you still be doing this if, you know, no one else existed? You know, if you were the only person and no one else saw you, would you still be doing this for the fun and the passion that they create the creative task brings you so i remember a long time ago i had a friend who was a father figure to me so he was more so of a teacher and a friend so i would you know externalize my you know self-worth onto that person and so the, the person that was the father figure to me he was very uh, crucial about very critical about certain things that he watched you know he really disliked the uh, you know, anime and, and shonen type stories. And so when I would, uh, you know, you know, show him some of my stuff, he'd, he'd get like very uh, critical in a negative way. And it wasn't really uh, benefiting me. It would make me depressed just due to the fact that I was externalizing my power onto somebody else. So in my early days, it didn't matter whether I was happy with it. It mattered rather the person that I, that I was externalizing my self-worth to liked it and that could lead to a lot of destruction down the road and so another thing to consider is the world that we're living in is in contrast uh, people are going to like you people are going to hate you if you look into like a, a really popular person they can be the nicest person but they're going to also have a group of people that don't like them And so the trick is not to get your haters to like you. The trick is to not pay attention to the haters and to focus on the people that actually like your stuff, that actually support you. And so there are haters and there are average normal people that, you know, that just don't like it or your content as much. And that's it's just, just due to the fact that they have different tastes. And so they're not haters or so. So they're just, you know, average people with different tastes. And so it's nothing to take personal. You let them go their way and you go your way. You know, there are some shows I don't like that are really popular. There are some people that, you know, you know, I, I enjoy One Piece. Some people like really don't like One Piece at all. You know, just people have different tastes and preferences. And even if some people don't enjoy One Piece, One Piece is still massive in its success and so when it comes to marketing yourself you want to you want to get yourself out there you want to expose yourself to the world you expose your art to the world you know spread it out and as many social medias as possible as many groups as possible etc however you don't want to get too attached to uh the people 
that like your stuff you want to make sure that it's it's coming from a genuine place that you're doing it for you and the uh people that pay attention to you that's that's like a extra plus side for motivation but remember that the motivation comes within you and so the main source of motivation should come from within you and not external though that can be a bright a byproduct of your internal motivation your the external motivation that you receive can be a, a byproduct of your internal motivation and so you don't want to seek external motivation if there isn't internal motivation first because that's the priority everything else is secondary and consider subscribing to the family so you can hit that and don't forget to uh, hit the, the red bell button for to get notified for when I upload every Saturday so when you click that you'll see this you can click the chat box to send the notifications for you and then just save it I also provide you guys a discord or a place to chat my discord will be available in a link down below I provide references you know for anyone that want to you know look into it you know so I have references for you know ears breasts you know front torso back torso etc and including hands as well and this is where you can you know just chat with a family and you can share your artwork here etc that's just the basis of the discord check it out whatnot and that'll be the video thank you guys for watching peace out